Hello everyone, and welcome to the Basis Charter School's virtual webinar. I'm Danya, and this is Kristen, and we're thrilled to be your host today. Joining us this evening will also be some amazing members of our Basis community. First, you'll hear from our co-chairman of Basis Ventures, Peter Bazanson, with some leadership insights and an inspirational look at what's coming up with Basis in the 2024-25 school year. Then you'll hear from some teacher and student perspectives on our unique curriculum, teaching methods, and school culture. We'll finish up with a Q&A session where we'll address your burning questions about admissions, academics, and more. Also, we are live and ready to answer your questions throughout the webinar. Simply open the chat function on Teams and type away. Our dedicated school enrollment specialists will be happy to assist you. Now, let's dive into the world of Basis Charter Schools. What makes BASIS different? We offer an accelerated, rigorous curriculum that is liberal arts and STEM focused. We often exceed national standards and we dive deep into all disciplines. BASIS draws inspiration from high performing educational systems worldwide, ensuring student learning is globally competitive. This includes a focus on educator credentials and student autonomy. We focus on mastery based learning. We backwards planned our curriculum so that students are prepared for the rigorous academic standards once they get to the AP-centric upper school. BASIS incorporates hands-on activities and projects into its curriculum, encouraging critical thinking and active learning. This approach aims to foster a deeper understanding and engagement with the material. BASIS strives to create a supportive learning environment for all students. This includes differentiated instruction, master teachers, and an emphasis on academic and personal growth. Hey, I'm Peter. I'm the co-chairman of Basis Educational Ventures. What makes Basis special to me is it's trite um, because we say it a lot because it's true. Um, number one, it starts with an excellent tested curriculum. Uh, we have written a K-12 curriculum uh, that pushes kids hard, but meets them where they're at and does magical things, gets them prepared uh, to attend the top colleges and universities in the country. Uh, number two, we hire amazing subject expert teachers and learning expert teachers who make that all happen. It's difficult to hire great teachers, especially difficult in some of the states where we operate, where you know funding is not that great. Um, but we sell to those teachers the ability to work with some of the absolute best students that they will ever encounter um, in kindergarten through 12th grade, which brings me uh, to, the, to the third point. Um, it's all about high expectations. As the president of the board of directors, Craig Barrett, once said, you hold the bar here, that's where students achieve. You hold it here, that's where they achieve. You hold it up here, that's what they achieve. So we set the bar high for students. We expect them to hit that bar. But that brings me to what I think really makes BASIS special uh, for me and for my family. I've had multiple kids go through the BASIS system. Every single one of those kids has struggled with something. Um, and BASIS was there for them. We only ask our kids to work hard. We only ask our families to support that hard work. We provide all of the support. And the support that we provide families and their educational journey with us um, is thorough, um, is significant um, and has been successful in the education of students and the support of those students over the last 25 years. So BASIS is a really special place. It's about academic achievement. Um, it's about hard work. 
Um, but first and foremost, it's about our level of support to students to achieve at those levels. Basis Charter Schools offers various levels of support. We offer student-specific support through what we call student hours. Student hours are individualized tutoring sessions that students can sign up for to meet with their teachers after or before schools. We also offer a student support program with specialists who offer guidance on study skills, organization, and test-taking strategies. BASIS parents are able to stay involved and in the know through teacher and administrators' direct communication, progress reports, and parent-teacher conferences. We also offer workshops, social events, and volunteer opportunities that help families stay involved and build a sense of community at their BASIS school. Oftentimes, we have older students offer peer tutoring options where they support students on their homework. BASIS also offers before and after school care. Before school care is called Early Bird, and it's free of charge where parents can drop their students off as early as 7 a.m. And after school care is called Late Bird, and it's a fee-based program that goes until 5.30. We also offer some optional summer programs that can help students prepare for upcoming grades, and it also delves deeper into subjects. We also understand that learning should be fun. In the primary grades, students will go to two recess blocks throughout the day, and they will also participate in PE and martial arts. We offer diverse multicultural clubs and activities to provide opportunities for students to connect with their peers who share the same interests. This also allows them to build social skills and work with older students. In our upper schools, we strive to give our students a typical high school experience. Many of our schools work with local charter leagues to offer a variety of sports and extracurricular activities. We also offer school dances such as prom and homecoming and other activities that help build upon student culture. Hi everyone, it's Magdalene Sage, also known as Ms. Sage. I am currently a first grade teacher at Basis Primary West. I am incredibly blessed to be a part of the Basis Charter Schools community. Um, let's dive into some ways that I best support my student growth in the classroom. At Basis Charter Schools, we believe in providing our students with a well-rounded education that prepares them for success in all areas of life. In first grade, we utilize two curriculums. One is Butterfly for Math and Science, and another subject is Humanities Butterfly. Also in Humanities is Integrated Basis Created Curriculum. Um, for Literacy, we use something called Logics of English, which is Foundations. I teach that. It is the best curriculum for first graders to teach them reading, writing, listening, speaking. We really emphasize phonics, reading comprehension, vocabulary, writing skills. Um, it's a comprehensive program that guides our students through various aspects of literacy, ensuring that they build a strong foundation for future academic success. I wholeheartedly believe that this is the best curriculum ever, as I have witnessed firsthand how students dramatically grow and develop their literacy skills using this program. All of these curriculums are the backbone of our teaching, engaging them and challenging them while ensuring they receive the highest quality education. At Basis Charter Schools, we believe in making learning fun, engaging for our students. In the classroom, I incorporate various activities, discussions, and technology to keep my students excited and ignited for learning. I explore hands-on activities to allow them to interact with material and apply their knowledge in real-world contexts. I also encourage open discussions where students can share their thoughts and ideas, fostering a collaborative learning environment. Additionally, we integrate technology in our lessons. We use tablets and utilize the butterfly resources to enhance their learning experience. Next, I'm going to get into parent communication. We strongly believe in parent involvement and collaboration. Regular communication with parents is so essential to create that partnership between home and school, something that I am truly passionate about. I open all lines of communication with parents through various channels such as Parent Square, 
We do newsletters and parent-teacher conferences, which are held beginning of the year and then during the winter, which I just got done with all of mine. Um, I encourage parents who actively participate in their child's education by meeting with me during conferences, attending school events and festivals, and engaging in home learning activities. We also have something called a CJ, which the CJ is always a good resource to communicate back and forth with parents. Um, together, we create a supportive community where everyone is invested in our student success. Through Parent Square, I do post weekly updates. What we cover in class kind of gives the parents a little glimpse of what we're learning. And then I also post what we're going to be learning too. Um, the fun part about Parent Square is you're able to post pictures, which I love my students so much. I love to post what we're doing in class, projects that we just finished, and just like their genuine smiles to see. As far as advising, counseling, and support staff for students, student affairs work closely with students, providing guidance, helping them set specific academic goals, and offer social emotional support um, and their overall growth. We also have something called second step, where second step is where students learn how to help themselves. They build these social emotional skills and use them in the real world. So creating that positive relationship with other friends and then also managing their emotions when things don't go their way. Um, they also learn about setting goals and then how it helps them really have a good day and thrive in school and in the real world. Thank you for taking the time to listen and learn about Basis Charter Schools. It is an exceptional school and I believe it is the best high quality learning charter school out there. All of this starts in kindergarten. Kindergarten is the foundation of a Basis student's educational journey. We offer both full day and half day options. Full day is a fee-based program. Half day is a free educational program. In the morning for the half day program, students receive all their core academic content. Courses include language and literacy, math, civics, history, and science, and movement. In the afternoon, we offer an enriching specials variety of courses. Students will go to art, music, drama, engineering, and Mandarin. Kindergarten is where the co-teaching model begins. In a kindergarten classroom, you'll see a kindergarten expert teacher and a kindergarten teaching fellow. For example, in a kindergarten classroom, you'll see the students gathered at the carpet learning about a math lesson. And then when it becomes independent practice and students go back to their seats, oftentimes one of the teachers will pull a group of students who are struggling a little bit to understand the concept to help support them individually, while the other teacher is circulating throughout the classroom to support the rest of the students. All of our kindergarten classrooms are self-contained, so the students stay in one classroom throughout the day, which is a really nice transition from a home or preschool environment. It becomes a home away from home, and these two teachers get to know your students on an individual level. In grades one through three, our co-teaching model continues, and this is the biggest market difference you'll see with basis charter schools and other schools. We have two teachers in every single core classroom. So again, this allows us to continue to differentiate instruction and meet every single learner's needs. The two types of teachers you'll see in the one through three classrooms are a learning expert teacher and a subject expert teacher. This is also the time that we start having students rotate from classroom to classroom to start preparing them for that as they get to the upper grade levels. The subject expert teacher is exactly what they sound like. They're an expert in the subject that they teach. A lot of our math teachers have a degree in math. Our humanities teachers have a degree in humanities. These teachers plan and implement the lessons for the entire grade level. The learning expert teacher is an expert in pedagogy. They went to school for elementary education. They understand how students learn. The learning expert teacher stays with one class throughout the day and brings them to the different subject expert classrooms. This provides some consistency for students. They have that LET as their main homeroom teacher throughout the day. And it's also parents' main contact for communication. 
In fourth and fifth grade, we continue to build a solid academic foundation. These are the grades that we want to instill a solid foundation in fundamental skills such as organizational skills, study skills, time management, note-taking, and critical thinking. In fourth and fifth grade, this is where you will see the LET removed and students will be rotating from class to class independently. This is part of what we do to prepare them for the middle school grades where they'll be navigating the campus on their own. You'll also see expanded learning opportunities where we break courses out into specific subjects like history, English, math, and science, and teachers will dive deeper into the content. We continue with the subject expert teachers, so teachers who are truly experts in the subjects that they teach, and we increase independence and self-advocacy. All of this is to set students up for success in the years ahead. The challenges for me in the basis curriculum are learning new lessons and learning new concepts. But some rewards are that at the end of the day, I fully understand the concept and memorize it. So when I'm doing my homework at my house, I know it easily. How basis has helped me with my critical thinking and problem solving is that they tell us to think about what could be the best solution for the problem and then we share our solutions to the teacher and then they go over the solutions as a class and we see which solution is the best answer for the problem. Basis did offer me many resources like this website called Spork. Spork is a place where teachers post many resources that you can use to study your upcoming tests or quizzes and they offered me a schedule which you can stick in your communication journal or your cubby slash locker. So when you're like, oh, what's the time for the next class? You know it right away. In basis, I did many extracurricular activities like soccer, basketball, karate, code ninjas, art club, journalism club, fashion club. But the three that stood out to me most were code ninjas. In code ninjas, I learned coding skills and teamwork skills. And the second one, karate. In karate, I learned how to meditate and learn new self-defense skills. And lastly, in Fashion Club, I learned how to use the sewing machine and sew with a needle by hand. How Basis' extracurricular activities helped me explore my interests and connect with others is that I was looking for a new hobby when I joined Art Club. In Art Club, they taught me so many new art techniques and art skills. And how I connected with others is that we were sharing ideas. That's why I have a big passion for art. Basis' positive and supportive environment starts all the way from the morning when a teacher opens your car door for you and helps you get down safely. When you walk into the building, the teachers give you a warm smile and nice compliments. When you're feeling down, the teacher gives you motivational words and the students are all supportive and kind. Basis did facilitate a long-lasting friendship because I went to Code Ninjas and I was sitting next to this girl and she's like, Hi, what's your name? Then we started a conversation and then we realized we had so many things in common and then she became my best friend. My overall experience of basis was great. I learned so many new skills like leadership skills, communication skills, and even teamwork skills. Every day we would learn something new, fun, and exciting. My favorite thing about basis is meeting all the nice, friendly teachers and making new friends. Mm -hmm. Why I would recommend BASIS to others is because BASIS is one of Arizona's best schools and their curriculum is very well structured. All the teachers are talented and amazing and all the students are supportive and very kind to each other. In grades 6 through 8, our students begin to set the foundation for AP coursework. For example, they will be enrolled in three different science courses in each of these grade years, that is biology, chemistry, and physics. In addition, our students begin to take high stake network exams. This is to help prepare them for the AP exams they'll begin taking in their ninth grade year. In grades nine through 12, our students begin taking AP courses at every level. Our students graduate with a minimum of six AP exams and many exceed that. Our students meet state graduation requirements by grade 11 with expanded coursework in grade 12. Our 12th grade year is really different and it what sets us apart from other high schools. Our seniors are given the opportunity to participate in what we call senior projects. Student projects can be research-based or they can be an internship with community members. Our seniors also sit a college counseling course in 12th grade. This class meets daily 
and discusses topics such as filling out the financial aid forms or selecting colleges that meet their needs. I teach AP Pre-Calculus at Basis Mesa. Although it's a challenging course, most of my students are ninth graders. In this class, we learn about polynomial and rational uh, functions, uh, exponential and logarithm functions, trig and polar functions, vectors, uh, conic sections, um, parametric uh, functions, um, as well as matrices. Each day, I start my class uh, with a lead-in uh, question. Uh, this question usually is an intriguing one uh, that assesses uh, students' understanding as well as uh, pique their interest for the new lesson. Uh, the actual lessons are delivered through uh, PowerPoint. All the lesson notes are also available online for the students. Um, our classroom, fortunately, is equipped with uh, Chromebooks. Uh, so students can access uh, the lesson notes, homework, as well as extra practice questions uh, while they're in, in the classroom. I also like to include activities uh, to cater to individual students uh, and uh, different learning styles. Uh, my goal is for students to see the bigger picture and to create an engaging uh, classroom culture to monitor students' uh, progress, um, I use a do now, which is the lead-in question, uh, comp checks, uh, a very short quiz, um, homework submissions, uh, as well as our weekly tests. Uh, so I have my fingers on the pulse. I know exactly uh, in which area students struggle, and I can immediately uh, reteach those lessons and make sure students are uh, ready for the next test or the next uh, unit. Um, I also regularly email parents. Um, I send out um, progress reports. Uh, the schools send out progress reports. And when, whenever the student's grade fall below a 70%, uh, we send uh, low score emails. Uh, so that parents are aware of their students' progress. I also post uh, updates on uh, Parent Square, so uh, parents are aware of our uh, progress at school, uh, which units we're on, uh, and so on. Uh, so we make sure parents are well informed of their students' progress at school. And, um, in terms of support system, we have a very strong, well-organized support system for our students. Uh, I identify the students uh, who need support, and our admin team will um, make sure these students get all the support they need. And we have before or after school peer tutoring. We have lunch pullouts, and of course, I uh, have student hours twice a week uh, where I sit down with the students and provide one-on-one uh, -on -one help and make sure students um, work out the areas that they are struggling with. And we, on campus, we also have a fantastic college counselor. Um, some sessions are even offered to freshmen and sophomores. Uh, there's career uh, counseling, college counseling. Um, it's just overall a, a great environment to work in. Uh, I've been with Basis Mesa uh, for 10 years, and every day I'm excited to come to school and uh, to learn with my students and to see their growth. And it's just a really wonderful place uh, to be at. And, uh, it's a rewarding place when you see your students uh, moving from an F to uh, even a, a B, which um, we just had our uh, AP mock, and uh, there were several students who really struggled in the beginning, and they've been coming to student hours um, twice a week, and uh, one of the students who really struggled actually received a four on the mock AP, and these are just the moments that I treasure and that just makes everything 
all worth it. Basis charter schools are consistently ranked amongst the best high schools in the United States by the U.S. News and World Report. Our average scholarship reward per student is $112,000. College acceptances include Princeton, Harvard, Cornell, Caltech, Penn, Vanderbilt, West Point, and more. Here are a couple common questions that we receive. One is, do we offer specialized programs such as special education and EL? The answer is yes. As a public charter school, we offer all the federal programs you would see at your home school, such as special education, IEPs, and 504s, and EL student support. Another question we get a lot is, how much homework will my student have? Homework is only used to reinforce concepts taught in the classroom. Students are never going to come home with something that wasn't taught by a teacher in school. In kindergarten, you'll see anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes of homework up to fourth grade, where they'll see about 40 minutes of homework. Again, it's all reinforced concepts from what was taught in class. Once your student reaches middle school, you can expect to see an increase in homework as the amount of courses they take increases. I would range about 20 minutes of homework per course in sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. And then in high school, you'll see more expectations for supplemental reading, along with guided reading and math practice. So for next steps, apply today at enrollbasis.com apply. Sign up for our email interest list and check out our Facebook and Instagram pages to see students in action. Sign up for a school tour at any of the campuses you're interested in to see our students and teachers in real time. Once again, thank you for attending our virtual info session and apply today.